guys, so it's been a while since I've last done this and been an even bigger while since I've attempted to create any sort of voiceovers or anything. So let's see if I can remember how to put together a video and let's see how this goes today. The reason why I haven't been able to do much art videos for such a very long time has been more than one reason. Art mainly because of study, job hunting and general life getting in the way. I've been spending so much time in a constant bid to try and better myself, I just have nothing left study can make one very tired. Something I've found out even when I've wanted to create something but can't. With YouTube and my videos however, that's been a slightly more complicated issue. I don't know how many of you all watching this have been made aware of YouTube's drama regarding copyright, or more specifically, my drama with YouTube's copyright. But to elaborate, in the past year or so, YouTube have been getting really NATO over, NATO over what they do and do not allow to happen on their platform. And me, who was just trying to make a few harmless videos showcasing my art, I eventually got caught up in the crossfire. When I would upload, I'd find my videos were constantly getting taken down and or demonetized, with emails coming through saying that the music choice I'd chosen violated people's ownership rights, pretty much saying that I was stealing people's content from them despite me going to a very specific effort to only use music taken from free music sites. You know, the type that is supposedly not commercialised, the type that mostly everyone uses at some point, leading to some very similar sounds across people's videos. Heck, I even got slammed one day by some great big commercial Japanese company. I can't remember what their name was, but it was because I'd uploaded a video showing me painting a character for one of my friends, and apparently my art style looked a little too much like their product. That, as you can guess, was copyrighted. So today, I'm going to see if I can somehow do better. I'm uploading this video with this voiceover on it, which, even though I hate the sound of my own voice, and I don't know how high quality this is going to end up, given that I don't have a single microphone, headset or recording software, just a speaker on my cell phone, we shall see if it gets through. Hopefully it does. I was even meant to have another person offer to hand make me a unique tune, but that was kind of offered to me a bit of a while back now, so I don't know if they're going to come through with it still. Anyhow, today I am using Paint Tool Scythe, an art program I'm still currently trying to get my hair around. I don't really have much of it down pat though, so don't expect this to be like the Mona Lisa or anything. Something I've wanted to try experimenting in is shading and colour. With Scythe, I literally had no idea how to even shade the sketching until I actually started this project. So as you can probably still tell, this is still something that's constantly a learning curve with me. This drawing I'm making today, it's come out a whole lot flatter than I thought it would. I'm used to, when using programs such as Creative or GIMP, I'm often able to shade and make my image look like it has quite a bit of depth through the use of highlight and shadow. Well, that's how it appears to me anyway. With this one, however, this is very much not the case. Granted, you can see that I've tried to make use of highlight and shadow, but I don't know why it hasn't come out quite so much like some of my other pieces I've made in the past. I hope this video turns out well. This has been very much an experimental piece for me on all platforms, as I'm constantly learning, and I hope at the end of this it is at least presentable. Ciao!